here there's the redesigned 2019 Audi Q3. It's making its debut for North America right here in New York at the International Auto Show. And this video is all about everything we know about this car because the design has changed, the whole size of the Q3 has changed, and you gotta look at the interior. Coming up right now. Let's introduce yourself. All right, uh, so I'm Andrew Vardell. I'm product manager with Audi, um, and I'm responsible for the new Q3. Nice, so how is this different from the outgoing Q3? So um, first thing you should know about the car is it's much larger. So um, it's bigger in every dimension, length, width, height, um, and what that's allowed designers to do is really make a much more bold, expressive exterior on the okay. car. So um, you'll see Audi's new exterior design language, um, maybe reminiscent a little bit of Q8. Um, and it's just overall a much more substantial, bold, athletic vehicle. Well, so let's look at the front just of really course. quickly. Yep, of course. So, so this is not kind of where the Q5 currently is. It's kind of the next iteration of the design. Yep, this is the new Audi SUV des okay. design like okay. Yep. So um, you can see here first is this new oct octagonal grille um, with the vertical bars. So really just emphasizing the overall presence of the car, um, a really bold, aggressive front end. Um, also, they brought the front end of the car up a whole another level. So what that does is it changes the angle of the windscreen and the hood. Okay. So the hood is now flatter. The car overall just looks more SUV um, from a proportion standpoint and um, overall just a really athletic looking vehicle. The Q3 got a little bit larger in overall size, but it also has a lot more power. It still has a two liter, but it's been updated. 228 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque, and it's made it to an eight-speed automatic transmission. Obviously, all-wheel drive Quattro is standard, and this is a really good setup because that's what you want. Turbocharged power and all-wheel drive to hook up. Yep, we also that's have- that's the only engine. It's the only engine yep. in the car, yep. Um, we have a new transmission as well, eight-speed automatic, so two more gears than the previous vehicle. Um, and yeah, overall the vehicle, it really performs great. Um, it's efficient, it's smooth, it's comfortable. So um, definitely some great updates to, to the chassis and the powertrain. All right, let's look yeah. on the inside. Of course. See what's going on there. Yep. Well, I see, All right. I see the latest design here as well and extra, extra color. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so some big changes to the inside as well. I think overall just design has become a really important part of this car and that carries through into the interior. So um, number one, what you should know is this vehicle borrows um, a lot of the flagship technology that we just launched in A8, A7, A6, Q8. So the great story here is that you're really getting this latest and greatest Audi tech at the price point of a Q3, 34700. So um, you can see design-wise, it has this great black panel display that goes across the dash. Also, it's octagonal, so it's mirroring the design of the new octagonal single-frame grille. If you get navigation, you can get Audi Virtual Cockpit, which is an even larger screen right in front of you, plus um, an even larger touchscreen to the right. So um, every Q3 has two standard screens, really high-resolution experience, and um, really fantastic technology. Which, which one is this one? Is this kind of the more upgraded one? Yeah, this, so this is an EU spec vehicle, so it's not 100% US accurate, but it's pretty close. Um, this would be like a Q3 Premium Plus. Okay. Um, with the navigation package, it has the Audi Virtual Cockpit, it has the larger touchscreen here. Um, but um, it also has a sport interior package, so available in the vehicle, you can get sport seats, paddle shifters, and a brushed aluminum inlay. Mm -hmm. And um, also this exciting new orange Alcantara interior. Can you trim. choose different colors, or how does that work? Uh, as it'll far be as interior. Yep, it'll be available just in orange at launch. And then here, um, I think one of, one of my favorite features of the new touchscreen, um, first of all, it's really designed so that the customer can easily adopt from what they're used to. So everyone's got a smartphone, an iPhone, um, they're used to that. So it's really responsive, it's really easy to press uh, into the things that you're looking for. And it has this really cool handwriting recognition with whole word recognition. So I just went into phone, I wanna go to search, 
um, you type this right here mm -hmm. and say you want to call Andrew. So you can write the entire word. Just the whole screen? Whole screen. Nice. You can also um, write it on top. Or in one place? Mm -hmm. So that, again, it's to minimize the amount of time that you're away from, you're looking away from the road. So um, really some thoughtful touches. They definitely really thought through how people were going to be using the vehicle. Um, they wanted to make the technology as easy to use, easy to adopt, um, and yeah. Very cool. Yep. Um, also, you have uh, available Audi phone box here, and it's a great place right here. So convenient to put your phones. Um, a lot of great storage even on top once your phone's in there charging. Uh, the cool thing about Audi phone box, I know um, other companies also offer wireless charging. Um, it does wireless charge you, wirelessly charge your phone, but it also provides a signal booster. So it tethers the vehicle to the roof antenna, and okay. it will boost the signal wherever okay, possible. Okay, that's really so, interesting. Yeah. So the door handles will be like this. Mm -hmm. I mean, door handles are like this. Yeah, this is a new design. That's so, cool. really, it's designed to. I mean, number one, I think it, it's a cool design feature. Um, it, it looks kind of unique, but also they're more usable. So you can come under like this, or you can go over and push the door out with your elbow. So, um, again, just kind of designed for more ergonomic flexibility depending on what the driver is looking for. There's something interesting happening at Audi. When I first got into the new Q3, I thought this was a prototype. Just kind of the way the surfaces are all designed, the door handles, the screen. But this is a production model. And I think they're refining their style, refining their interior in a really good way. The seats are very comfortable. And it's very Audi-like. I mean, they haven't moved away from where Audi has been, but they're adding some color here on the inside. And uh, they're doing something interesting like the volume button, which is kind of hidden here um, underneath. But there's also volume on the steering wheel. So they're kind of doubling down on all the features. You said it's a little bit bigger. How much bigger and how does it yep. translate to the inside? Absolutely. Yep, so we're 3.8 inches longer. Yeah, okay. open up the rear door. Um, three of those inches are directly in the wheelbase. So all of that length increase is going into the passenger compartment. So what that means is really bigger in the front and in the rear, but especially the rear seat. Um, so you have a lot more space for rear passengers, for rear cargo as well, um, increases to both. And also standard, we have this sliding, reclining, 40-20-40 split folding rear seat. That's cool. Um, yeah, so it's... You can put skis in the middle, right? Yep, you can put skis in the middle. Um, you could have like a pet maybe in the back with the seat up here. So there's so it a... It slides back and forth. It slides uh, back and forth 5.9 inches okay. um, and then recline, reclines quite a lot as well. So really what we wanted to do was just be thoughtful, knowing that this customer, the reason people are buying SUVs, they have a bunch of different uses for the vehicle. So we wanted to make sure the car was ready for, for everyday life. Nice, so when yep. is it gonna be available in pricing? You mentioned price briefly already. Mm -hmm. Yep, so the car uh, starts at 34,700, um, and that's for Q3 Quattro, standard Quattro on the vehicle, and the, men the engine uh, we, already, we already mentioned. Okay. Um, so, um, also you'll have this re very cool uh, adjustable cargo floor. So, basically what it allows you to do is um, you can lower the floor okay. if you want more vertical height. Uh, and then if you want, you can put this cargo cover underneath the floor. So you always have dedicated storage for this cargo cover here. Okay, I gotcha. Yep. And when is it going to be available? Um, it is available uh, middle of the summer. Luxury manufacturers are doing this interesting thing where they're introducing new naming conventions and badging on their cars. Here you see a 45, which refers to a classification based on kilowatt output of the engine. But this badge is not going to make it to the United States. This is a Eurospec car. We will just see the Q3 and the Quattro badge. A very familiar design back here as well, and Audi is doing what they've done on some of the other cars. They're doing these kind of a stylish, fake exhaust outlets on both sides, but actual exhaust pipes are down below. And the starting price is actually pretty aggressive. It's just under 36,000 bucks with destination charges, and Quattro is standard, and it's going to be available this summer. 
Go back to tflcar.com for more news, views, and real-world car reviews.